Hey guys, welcome back. It's day six on how to build an amazing showroom and today was the final day where we finally finished forming our slab. I'm going to show you the little final touches we did before uh, pouring day, which is tomorrow. So right here we're at the heater box. We have it plastic taped so that no concrete can go in. Uh, so it's protected. We definitely don't want any concrete going in because that's where our heater is actually going inside. We put a concrete block on top and really all the concrete block does is it keeps everything in place. I know we foamed it. I know it's pretty secure, but you can't be too sure. So we put these two big, two big blocks of concrete to make sure that uh, it's not going to move. We, uh, the final touches with the steel was we ran all of our rebar. So you can see rebar here, rebar there at every foot and a half. Uh, tied into the building. We've also formed using uh, high density foam uh, inside of the storefront because we don't want the concrete pouring in. We've also spray foamed it so you can see the joints here to make sure that it doesn't seep through uh, and get inside of our existing showroom. Over here, uh, you know I didn't really mention this before guys because this is really job specific. Uh, we put some blocks of foam here around the gas line. This is actually the existing gas line and it has to be moved. So what we've done for now is we've blocked it off. Um, it's actually a pretty big deal. The city has to lower the, the, the pressure overall because the pipe that runs here is so big that they can't just start working on this right away. So to get things going, we've blocked it off with foam. We're going to pour it they can do their work on the pipe and then eventually we're going to cut it off and pour this little section. So this kind of looks strange, but it's just temporary for now. We're going to pour it in. Over here is our unheated section. In the last video, I believe in day five, uh, this was kind of just white foam, uh, high density foam. Well, we finally installed the steel. We have finally installed the formwork so that the concrete stays inside. We've braced it with rebar. So we staked in rebars every four, four to five feet, make sure everything is stable. And over here, we've tap conned a piece just for good precaution, good measure, make sure nothing blows out. You don't want to blow out. Blow out means concrete is breaking through your forms. Um, and that's not, not a good thing. I cleared out a little area for you guys to see. If you look back at day five, this was just a sheet of foam. It actually comes with this little mesh. That's the skirting that I showed you guys earlier. This is just gonna basically be uh, like help it be held in place. Uh, this is a skirting that protects the unheated area from the frost to penetrate underneath and lifting it. So you need this skirting in order to protect the unheated section of the foundation. So I'll bring you guys here as a final recap before we pour. So like I said before, uh, today was the final day we had two inspections. Legalette sends their technician to do a final inspection, make sure that everything is to as per the plans. And the city also uh, runs an inspection to make sure that they're happy with the way that things are. And I'll do a really quick recap. So last recap, guys, before pour date, we brought in clear stone. We brought it to the proper elevation. We've laid out our foam. We've laid out our edge element, which is tied down uh, with basically a steel channel, steel framing. We've installed our heater boxes. We've installed our piping. All the steel, along with some of the conduits here, didn't really pay much attention to this in the videos, but this is for any electrical for this. There's gonna be a front desk here, guys, and we need basically 120 volts and LAN, so internet lines running in to run our debit machine, things like that. So you'll see a couple pipes sticking out. That's what you're looking at is the electrical. And all in all, you, d you finish off with a layer of rebar and mesh. And this is what you got, guys. This is final day before pouring. I'm really excited to shoot everything for you guys. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to kind of get some video footage in between while the truck's coming in. Um, it, it, things happen really fast, so we'll stitch the video up and show you kind of pieces of the puzzle to uh, the final product. So. Thanks guys for tuning in. Tomorrow's a big day, day seven. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.